In this video, we're going to talk about the LED flasher circuit. This circuit is basically an oscillator circuit attached to two different colored LEDs, a green LED and a red LED. So here is the circuit symbol for those two LEDs. This particular circuit requires two transistors, an NPN transistor, which is Q1, and Q2, which is a PNP transistor. You could tell these apart because the emitter points towards the PNP transistor, but away from the NPN transistor. By the way, for those of you who may not know, this is the collector of the NPN transistor. This is the base, and that is the emitter. For the PNP transistor, this is the base, that's the collector, that's the emitter. The purpose of the two transistors is to amplify the oscillations created by the LC network. That is from the capacitor and the inductance of the transformer. Now the oscillations are created due to the fact that the capacitor and the inductor, they're constantly charging and discharging each other. The actual transformer that I'm using is a center tap transformer, which I have the capacitor attached to the center portion of the transformer. Now this transformer is one of those transformers that's designed to convert a 120 volt AC signal into a 12 volt AC power source. But I have it connected in reverse where it's acting as a step up transformer as opposed to a step down transformer. So the open circuit voltage at these two points is actually pretty high when they're not connected to two LEDs. Now R2 is a one mega ohm resistor and R1 is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The capacitor C1 controls the flash rate. Now this is a, an electrolytic polarized capacitor with the positive terminal being attached to the center tap portion of the transformer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to watch some demonstrations to see the effect of the capacitor on the flash rate. So we're going to start with a one microfarad capacitor. Let's see what happens. Take note of the rate at which the LED is flashing. Now let's compare it when we increase the capacitance to 3.3 microfarads. So let's see how fast it's going to flash now. So based on that last demonstration, we could see that the LED is flashing at a lower rate. So we could say that as we increase the capacitance of the capacitor while keeping everything else the same, the rate at which the LED flashes decreases. So these two are inversely related. Now let's see what's going to happen if we increase the capacitance to 10 microfarads. Well, we can see that the flash rate is a whole lot slower than it was for when we used a 3.3 microfarad capacitor. And let's look at one more demonstration. Let's increase it to 22 microfarads. And let's see how slow it's gonna flash now. As we could see, it's very slow. There's a time delay between each flash from the LED. So that circuit now becomes basically a pulse generated circuit. However, the current can flow in both directions because both the LED, the green LED and the red LED were activated. So when the current flows in this direction, the red LED is activated. And when it flows in this direction, the green LED is activated. So we have a, a DC input with an AC output because the current reverses direction. So we have an alternating current at the output. And that's what an oscillator circuit can do. It can convert a DC signal into an AC signal. 
Now let's talk about why the rate of the flashing is inversely related to the capacitance of C1. It has to do with the frequency that's generated at the output. The frequency is always inversely related to capacitance. In an RC circuit, the frequency is some variation of this formula, 1 over 2 pi RC. And for an LC circuit, it's 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC. In both cases, the capacitance is on the denominator of the fraction, which means that if you increase the denominator of the fraction, the value of the whole fraction goes down. So increasing the capacitance decreases the frequency. And the frequency is proportional to the rate at which the LED flashes. So the rate is going to decrease as well. And so that's why we see this inverse relationship. When the capacitance goes up, the rate at which the LED flashes go down. So all you need to do is adjust C1 to the appropriate setting of how fast you want your LED to flash. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to design an LED flasher circuit. Actually, before I end this video, there's something else that I need to mention for those of you who may actually want to build a circuit. And that is the type of transistors that I'm using. So for Q1, which is an NPN transistor, the specific type of transistor that I use in this demonstration is the 2N2222 transistor. As for Q2, which is a PNP transistor, the specific type that I'm using is MPS2907 transistor. It should be similar to the 2N2907 transistor. So those are the ones that I've used for this demonstration for those of you who may want to design that circuit.